In the sport of mixed martial arts, the transition from older generations to newer ones often involves a combination of factors. These factors include advancements in training methods, evolving fighting techniques, changes in athleticism and physicality, as well as shifts in mental approaches to the sport. The first factor, training methods. The new generations often benefit from improved training techniques, including advancements in conditioning, nutrition, recovery, and access to specialized coaching. The second factor, evolving techniques. MMA is a constantly evolving sport. Newer generations tend to incorporate a wider range of older generations. Number three, athleticism and physicality. Younger fighters may possess superior athleticism and physical attributes compared to their older counterparts. This can include speed, agility, strength, and endurance, which play crucial roles in MMA competition. Number four, men to the sport with fresh perspectives and less mental wear and tear. They may be more adaptable, open to new strategies, and less burdened by past experiences and expectations. And finally, number five, the strategic adaptation. MMA strategies and game plans evolve over time and time again. Young fighters may be quicker to adapt to new trends, technology, and innovations in the sport, giving them an edge over older fighters who may be more set in their ways. Overall, the transition from old to new generations in MMA is natural. It's a natural progression driven by a combination of factors related to training, technique, athleticism, mindset, and strategic evolution. With that being said, there is always that exception to the rule where the old generation keeps up with the new generation. And we have seen this time and time again. I would like to submit to you that one of those people who are the exception to the rule would be Dustin the Diamond Poirier. Dustin Poirier is set to fight Benoit St. Denis at UFC 299 on March 9th. And again, this is absolutely going to be a test to see if the new generation is going to switch hands with the old generation or if the old generation stands their ground and makes sure they make a statement to let everybody know that they're still in the game. Dustin Poirier is known for his versatile and adaptive fighting style in MMA. Poirier possesses strong boxing fundamentals. He utilizes a combination of jabs, hooks, and crosses effectively to strike opponents and set up combinations. Poirier incorporates Muay Thai techniques into his striking arsenal. He utilizes elbows, knees, and kicks to target opponents, especially in close range exchanges. He is also proficient in the clinch work where he can control opponents, deliver strikes, and set up takedowns or transitions to other positions. While Poirier is primarily known for his striking, he also possesses submission skills he has secured several victories via a submission, showcasing his proficiency in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and grappling. And finally, when we talk about adaptability, that is one of his greatest strengths, his ability to adapt during fights. He can adjust his game plan based on his opponent's strengths and weaknesses, making him a formidable opponent in various scenarios. Overall. Dustin Poirier's fighting style blends together elements of boxing, Muay Thai, and grappling, making him a well-rounded and dangerous competitor in the MMA world. Keep in mind that these fighting styles can evolve over time, so they may have been more developments in Poirier's approach. Even though Benoit St. Denis is still considered as a prospect in the UFC, his fighting style has that accurate southpaw stance. His MMA combat style is built around wrestling and submissions, and though he is willing to stand and trade, he typically uses his striking to force opponents to defense so he can look for takedowns and submission. 
The most similar opponent that Dustin Poirier has faced was Khabib Nurmagomedov. And we all know how that played out. But then again, that was when Dustin kind of underestimated Khabib's skills. And best believe he is more prepared to prove that he can defeat that type of fighting style. BSD is definitely a dangerous opponent as he tends to have that killer instinct toughness that is needed in order to take out any opponent in the octagon. So this should be considered as a very close fight as BSD is actually the favorite to win this fight. When it comes to the toughness of the mindset, Dustin has shown that all over and over again. BSD, even though he has less fights in the UFC, has shown that he is a tough fighter and his military background is enough to prove his mindset. So he's not someone to be underestimated or slept on. But the person being slept on in opinion is Dustin Poirier. This match is seen by many people as a switching hands from the old generation to the new generation. But I believe this is going to be one of those exceptions. The main reason I make that statement is because BSD has not fought any fighter in the caliber of Dustin Poirier. Even though his last four wins have ended in a finish by KO or submission, he hasn't fought anybody as tough or as of a higher rank like Dustin Poirier. But he has proven that he definitely has those skills to prove everybody right. Dustin Poirier, on the other hand, has one of the best fighting resumes in the lightweight division in the UFC, finishing a lot of great fighters by either knocking them out or taking them and submitting them. But then again, the person who he is about to fight has the exact type of skills to Khabib Nurmagomedov, who was his toughest fight and who actually made that fight look easy. Hence why I do put BSD as a very dangerous opponent in this fight. But like I said, this man is tough, this man adapts, and he always wanted that fight with Khabib back because he always felt that he had something to prove. And I do believe this is his chance to make that statement. Dustin Poirier, even though he has an impressive record, has lost twice to a submission. Once by Khabib Nurmagomedov and Charles Oliveira. And he lost his last fight on July 29, 2023 to Justin Gagey by a leg kick KO. Now, with that being said, Benoit St. Denis has the exact skills to enact the same thing in this fight. But then again, Benoit St. Denis has not fought anybody in the same bracket as Dustin Poirier. He hasn't fought any fighter as tough as him, even though his last fight ended in a knockout to Mark Favola, which is a fantastic head kick KO as well. Who do you guys think is going to win this fight? Do you think this is going to be another example of the new school taking out the old school or would the old school stand their ground? Let me know in the comments, guys. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, this is Miami. How good is this card? This is the big fight. This is the big fight. Dustin Poirier and Benoit Saint-Denis. That's the big fight.